Some of you may have heard of J.W. Wenham, John Wenham. And he was a famous theologian in the 20th century, studied here in Oxford. He had two famous sons, uh, and they became, Gordon and David, they became famous theologians. And he wrote a famous book on the Greek of the New Testament that all vicars have used to, to train, to understand God's word for the last 50 years. And this was obviously his Bible at some point. And he either lost it or the family flogged it when he passed away. And I bought it in Oxfam for 50p. <laughs> and all the way through it, it is underlined and written in. And there are notes. The person is engaged with this book, John, and met with God. It's interesting, in this book, there are names all over it to the successive owners. They left their mark on the book, and the book left its mark on them. But what about these? We've got more here. I always buy a Bible. If I go in Oxfam or one of these bookshops, if there's a new unused Bible, I buy it. All of these have never been read. Never been read. Presented to Terry on the occasion of his wedding. I wonder how he's doing. I wonder how his marriage is. Given a Bible. Never read it. Got rid of it. I bought it for nothing in a bookshop. What about this one? Never been read. Absolutely new. Presented to Jacob. And there's the date. Never opened. Never read. Never engaged with. All this truth and all this treasure, never known. I wonder how he's doing. What about this one? To Judith at a confirmation. Never read, never open, never engaged with. All that truth, all that treasure, all that pleasure, all that opportunity to know and love and serve God unknown I wonder how she's doing what about this one look at that what a beauty someone paid a bit of money for this the school in fact this was from a nice posh school and given to Benjamin when he left school a decade ago I wonder how he's doing all that truth all that treasure discard it what about this one? To Roy and his wife on their wedding day, 20 odd years ago. Never read, never opened. The gold block was still intact. I wonder how they're doing. All that truth, all that treasure, all that opportunity, a tardis to an encounter with God, never known. And contrast that with that one. How about that for a Bible? <laughs> this was my dad's Bible. I grew up with him in this Bible. I remember when he got it in the 70s. And for the next 25, 30 years, he read it four times a year. Every year. Sometimes I'd be coming home late from a party. He'd be up early in the morning reading the book. And every page is written on. Every page, in between every page, there's another page of blank paper that is all full of notes and quotes and anecdotes and encounter with God. My dad read his Bible. But here's the, here's the thing. My dad's the best man I ever met. The kindest, most generous, the godliest, the most wonderful man. Why? Because of a lifetime spent in this book. And after he glued it together so many times and it was falling apart, he went and got another one and he's done exactly the same. You know, it's said a Bible falling apart is usually owned by someone who isn't. What does your Bible look like? 